Hey guys, how are we doing? Uh, this is my first video, so I'm going to give it a go. Um, basically, I'm going to show you how to tie um, a cod fishing pulley rig, okay, for the up and coming winter fishing. So, I have a Maximus shot leader of £77. Now, I use this for my rigs, okay, as it's quite tough, hardly any stretch in it as well. And it's really good to use. Um, for sensitivity bites, especially if you're using braid as your main line as well. So you want roughly six foot of this. So I'm six foot two, so practically an arm's length. And just cut that off, just like that. And then you want to take a rotten bottom, you know what I mean? Just tie a rotten bottom. Just that. Uh, okay, just on the bottom of the line on one end. And a four turn grinner or five, it's totally up to you. One, two, three, four, there we go. And just through there. Just a bit of spit on now to make it come through easier. There we go. So, right on the bottom on. Basically, I use these for losing the lead uh, when I'm fishing over rough ground. Uh, if the fish gets snagged, you get a pull. And the lead should break free. So, once that's on, uh, just get some of your normal carp fishing line. And you probably want. Tie that onto the loop, the loop part here of the rotten bottom. Okay, so just tie that just onto there. Again, the green and I use green and all the time, any kind of fishing. So what you're going to do with this is attach your lead to it. Okay. Then any lead would do if you're fishing in rough ground. And just tie that onto the bottom of your lead. Just get a spin. There we go. Now if you haven't used rotten bottoms before, then I'll just show you how that works. So your weight, your really thin line, and then you just clip that onto there. Now on impact of, of the seabed or the sea, that lead will bounce off there. And now if a cod picks up your bait, that lead will get snagged. And then you just pull on your rod and it snapped and comes through. So that's the idea of a rotten bottom. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to take a bead, just slide that all the way down to the, the rotten bottom there. And we're going to take a mustard swivel now. Okay. Probably size 8. And just slide that all the way down to that swivel. Okay, so that's down to the swivel. And then just get another bead and just do the same again. All the way down. Okay, swivel, beads, just to stop that swivel going over the rotten bottom and coming off from the main line basically. So that's on there. Next, take your other end and just hold it in line with 
your rotten bottom and find the middle roughly. And what we're going to do is just snip that pair of scissors just like that. And, and again, get another size 8 mustard and just attach that to one end of the other line that you have with nothing on. And again, four or five turn. Bring out. And just pull that tight. And snip that off. There we go. The other section with the rotten bottom piece on again. Just attach that to that swivel. And again, four or five turn. Not one, two, three, four. Just pull that tight again, just like that. And snip that off, right? So now, swivel up there, hook goes down here. So, um Two hooks I use. Um, the first hook is pretty much what everyone's using now, is our curved hooks. Okay? And if you're going to get a fish normally nailed on a curved hook, okay, as your top one. Alright? So we slide that down the line backwards. Okay? So that piece of line through the front of the hook. If I can get it in there, there you go. And just slide that, slide that all the way up to the end. And then, this time of year, I don't think there's gonna be that many big fish out there, but we'll start with a size four, four O mustard to get us going. I mean, this will get this gets smaller fish as well. But when you're after the cod, you still want someone with a bit of, bit of backbone to it, and it's still going to land a decent fish. And again, just tie that on. One, two, three, four. And do five on that one, and just pop that. Bit of loop and just pull that tight. There we go. And just snip that off again. There we go. And you have your first pulley rig that hopefully will catch me a fish or two. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Uh, next video I'll be doing will be on how to prepare cart to catch uh, a big old cod. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Let me know. Uh, this is my first video, so there's plenty of room for improvement, but I'll give it a go. But thank you very much. And uh, if you'd like to follow me on Insta, it's Mike123UK on Insta. Thank you very much. Cheers.